We're in the dressing room backstage at uh, Spider-Man, Turn Off the Dock, with Robert Cuccioli. Uh, how does it feel being back on Broadway? It's great. I've yeah. missed it. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been way too long. And, um, but it's been a very productive uh, 13 years uh, for me to get here. I mean, I've worked in the regions quite a lot. Um, and really have uh, expanded my craft. Uh, I've really worked hard at um, on my acting and uh, uh, different levels of my craft, even my singing. And uh, I started directing, so I've gotten a lot of uh, uh, my hands into a lot of different things. And uh, it's been uh, it's been an exciting time. It's been rewarding, um, but I was really itching to come back to Broadway, and I'm. I'm I couldn't have picked a better show to do it with. You've uh, done a lot of Shakespeare in mm -hmm. your life. Uh, do you have a favorite role? Boy, that's that's hard to choose. Um, I just actually uh, last year I did uh, I played Iago, uh, which was uh, incredible. So that's that's definitely one of my favorites. You're really funny when you uh. want to be. <laughs> Uh, hopefully, if they come and see Spider-Man, they'll get that. But, but uh, that's that's one thing that I wanted to do. That's why I wanted to do this role also because um, it allowed me to break out of that mold that New York knows me in as. Uh, uh, they know me as a serious performer, and I am. But uh, I I do have uh, I, I do love the comedies. I do love to laugh and make people laugh and I love to, to and I, I enjoy myself and uh, New York does not see me in that light and now they will get a chance to do that so um, if you come and see Spider-Man turn off the dark you'll laugh. <laughs> I don't think that Norman Osborn or uh, the Green Goblin think they are funny. Uh, it's the situation that that and what I feel I, I how I use the situation uh, to make the humor. Um, so I think that, especially the Goblin, he's very serious. <laughs> he's an intense fellow, <laughs> but he's he puts he's in situations sometimes that that uh, whether it be stuck on a phone and and stuck with a, an answering machine, you know, on the phone, that kind of stuff is is a, it's a, it's a humorous situation, and and it's how I play with it that uh, that helps to make it funny. Recently, came out with your first CD. Yeah, the Look of Love. Yeah, it's it's quite a project. Thank you. It's been a, it was a year in the making. Um, it's added a couple more gray hairs to my head, uh, but it was uh, definitely worthy. Uh, it was a, a worthwhile project, and um, it's something that I've wanted to do for many many years. Not necessarily this specific CD, but um, I wanted to do an album for many many years, and uh, whether it had to do with it takes a lot of time, and it takes a lot of, of money, um, and a lot of focus on just that. And none of which I, I had readily available. I'm always running out of town or something like that, and never really was able to focus on doing an album. Uh, so I made sure that I had the time uh, this past year. Even though I was out of town a lot, I came back into town on my days off and recorded. I was very dedicated to get this thing done. and. Uh, uh, it took a year from from raising capital to actually recording and uh, getting it uh, released. Practically a year, almost to the day, to get it done. And it's all standards, which is uh, a genre of music that I recently re-fell in love with. If you have some words of wisdom to all of the theater wannabes that are out there pursuing their their careers, what might you be able to say to them? Young people that want to get into this business should uh, should not ignore the rest of life. They should not ignore um, uh, anything else to, because you, you need to learn as much as you can about everything in order to be an actor. Um, the more well-rounded you are, the better the actor that you will be. And uh, I think that that's very important. I think that uh, uh, if it's in your heart and you feel that you there's nothing else that you can or want to do, then you should do this. And you should do it with all your passion and with all your heart. The phone call is like, hey, you want to do Spider-Man? 
So it's it's all it's it's you need to keep at it, keep as keep your passion alive.